All right, so for this one, um, we really just need the reference angle. So there's a couple of ways to look at it. This is just problem number one from the review. All right. So remember, this is a positive angle if we go uh, counterclockwise. <coughs> And then if we go this way, that means that our measure theta is negative. It doesn't really matter. It's just, it depends on how we enter it into our graphing calculators. Um, so what they're telling me is this angle from here to here is 110. So it's probably best or easiest just to determine um, some things here based on <coughs> I had to load up the calculator. The reference angle. Um, so let me see if I can get this this right. There we go. We'll pull that over here. So what they want us to do is find the measure of each angle. Okay. So if I'm going to rotate around. One full rotation is 360 degrees plus the reference angle. So um, there's lots of ways you could do this. I know that the measure of a straight line is 180 degrees. And so if they give me that this is a 110 degrees, then this measurement inside here is 70 degrees, right? Because 110 plus 70 is 180 degrees but I have one full rotation in the positive direction so really what I have is 360 degrees right that's going from here all the way around one full rotation plus the additional 70 degrees oops and so that whole thing adds up to 430 pretty easy right any questions on that? This is also, does it make more sense now? Remember, I think like the first week of school, I said that these are circular functions. Does that make more sense now when I say they're circular functions? 